I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, the head coach for Job Search, CoachingHQ.com. And the question for today is, do executive search firms look at unsolicited resumes? Now, the way the question was originally phrased, I just want to give you the alternative phrasing. Are, are executive search firms even looking at unsolicited resumes that get sent to them? Now, you have to understand how the search business has evolved. And yes, its history is that, you know, it, it never looked at an unsolicited resume. But understand that there might be someone in the office who parses resumes. You know, it, you know they have software that's going to input resumes into their system uh, that appeal to them. There's this thing you may have heard of called LinkedIn. You know, that part of the business is very data oriented. And they're not necessarily looking for people who are out of work. Let me restate that. They're not looking for job hunters. They're looking for the best talent that fits a client requirement. A client hires them to do a task, fill a job. It has specific criteria. Now, they may, but probably won't, uh, input your resume into their system. You have to have extraordinary skills that tend to fit the search criteria that they're involved with most of the time, because most search firms have an orientation or they have practices that focus in on certain lines of business, perhaps certain functions, things along those lines. But why should they? That's the truth of it, because uh, you think your resume might be useful to them? How do you know? Oh, you want to get on their radar. Good. Do something great that fits a search criteria. Get written up about, get featured in an interview. Do things that turn your work into celebrity so that you're not just some person who's sitting at a desk doing a job that you think is so valuable to other people. Get known. You see, this is part of the branding process that most people don't get. And search firms are acutely aware of how important the brand is because it makes someone more saleable to their client. It's not like they're trying to fill a staff level position. They're trying to hire successful executives. What makes someone appear to be successful? Answer, a vivid credential. And I'm going to call it a vivid credential because it's known, respected, been recognized, been written or interviewed about, uh, has been on the stage talking about. You know, these are criteria that you know allow them to recognize that other people have vetted you and have vetted your work and have identified you as being successful, smart, and a leader. Sending a resume in, useless. You know, or let me restate that. It's almost useless. You may get lucky. But the likelihood of you being lucky is so small, better to put all that effort into developing reputation that's visible, where you write about, you are published, you are interviewed, you're on stage talking about your accomplishments, rather than just simply being some guy who sends a resume in. Why do you want to be some guy or some woman who's sending them a resume and having you know, a, a researcher look at it going, why do we have this thing? Delete. Seriously, why do we have this resume? Because it fits nothing that they're looking for. Again, the, you know, the nature of search has evolved, so the data is more readily available. It's not like in the old days when I started off in recruiting, where you had us get microfiche and look at newspapers on microfilm and you know, find the article that you are written about. There's so many places where you can become known. Focus in on that rather than whether or not even looking at your resume. Who are you anyway? They should be looking at your resume. That's what you're going to be focusing on. Developing who you are that will make them want to reach out to you. I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. If you're interested in one-to-one -one coaching with me, email me at jeffalpin at thebiggamehunter.us in the subject line. Put the word coaching, and I'll get back in touch. We'll set up a time for an introductory conversation. Have a great day. Take care.